Hey, you all. Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Raleigh, North Carolina, and even more specifically than that, we are at the state fair. Now, of course, I have been on a mission to visit all of the state fairs. So far on this channel, we have visited 21 different state fairs. However, today does not actually count towards our tally of finishing off all the state fairs because I've actually been here before to the North Carolina State Fair. The very early days of this channel is actually the first state fair that I filmed. But I looked back at those videos and I felt I need to give the North Carolina State Fair another look. First of all, it is a massive state fair. I, I kind of filmed it kind of the old style of a uh, video, kind of the, the early form of video on this channel that doesn't really reflect the current uh, style of video that I have here. So I felt that the, the North Carolina State Fair was worth another visit, was worth uh, creating a new video. And it has been a, quite a long time. This has been, uh, this has been like over, at least over five years. I'm not sure exactly, but over five years ago that I was at the, the North Carolina State Fair. So it is worth another look, it is worth a new video, and it is worth enjoying what they have here at the North Carolina State Fair. And of course I am a North Carolina resident, so this is technically my state fair. So please, follow me. And here we have a moonshine display by the Broad Slab uh, Distillery here. See the old timey moonshine truck. And they have an actual moonshine still set up producing, producing moonshine. You can actually smell that moonshine in the air being made out of the old still there. You can see it drizzling, drizzling there into, into the jar. In the classic old mountain style of making moonshine. Always do love the scarecrow uh, contests they have at the state fairs. See all the different creative scarecrows there. This one is a uh, a scare cat or scaredy cat, if you will. You can look back there. You can see. I think that is an Angry Birds scarecrow. Have a Batman scarecrow. Whoa. And then it looks like a, a cowboy dinosaur scarecrow right there. I think that there is a Bob Ross scarecrow. Now we have this uh, this witch here with the rollers in her hair. Oh look at this. We got Smokey, Smokey Bear. Thank you. Is he singing? Only you can prevent wildfires. But only you can prevent wildfires. I like the orange shoe. Oh, he's talking to me. He knows you. Hey, Smokey. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm oh, doing good. Waving at it's me. A beautiful day at the North Carolina State Fair. It is a beautiful day. Have a good day. You <laughs> It's like they're having a sawmill demonstration using this Frick steam engine. Oh, look at that big saw blade right there. Yikes. Of course, the number one crop here in North Carolina is tobacco. Here is the first place uh, tobacco winner, as well as some of the uh, runner-ups. So let's get a bird's eye view of what's going on here at the North Carolina State Fair via the State Fair Flyer Skylift here. 
All right. Oh, thank you. All right, watch out. There we go. And here we head Skyforth. Hello. You can see the big Ferris wheel there, the big crazy spinning something or other that way. Yeah, it looks like we're getting ready to head over the midway, so maybe you can pick out some uh, some rides that we may or may not uh, want to try. Yeah, I do spot, I do spot a dark ride over there. We'll definitely have to check that out later. Yeah, look at all the different things swirling and twirling out here on the midway. That sky looked kind of frightening. Is it gonna start raining here? See all the little tiny people enjoying the state fair down there. Got a uh, fun house down there as well. A house of mirrors. Lo lost city. Oh, why is there no one on this? Why is there no one on this sky lift? Just noticed I was on here alone. <laughs> See the dreaded zipper there. And the rock star. Swirling people in the air. Oh, there goes the zipper. Oh, it's going, is it going full bore here? Oh, it looks like they got it locked and loaded. Ready to uh, swirl people in the air. Oh, goodness. You hear their screams? You hear their screams as we come past. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's people. There's people in all those boxes. See the Gravitron there? Known here as the alien abduction. Blending people inside. Got a wild mouse style uh, roller coaster there. like we're racing, racing the wild mouse. There they go. Whee! So the Cyclops here, you see that one eye there at the top. There's the drop tower, see people sitting there up at the top. Oh, they're making them hang in there for a second. Oh my good, there they go. There they go, right to the bottom. As the, uh, as the swings start twirling. here on the uh, on the State Fair flyer I guess they call it always like to do this kind of to kind of to start out with the midway kind of get a, a view of the midway this definitely gives you a good view of all the all the rides twirling and whirling underneath yeah, you can actually see the midway is, is rather sizable it actually goes on past the tree line there there's some more rides on the opposite side and it is time to descend back down to planet Earth. All right, so now let's head back into the midway on foot and uh, hunt down that dark ride. And look who decided to show up here at the North Carolina State Fair. It is the Haunted, the traveling carnival dark ride, the Haunted. I probably rode this dark ride more than any other traveling dark ride. I rode this at the Florida State Fair, the Delaware State Fair, the New York State Fair, the Tennessee Valley Fair, and now we will ride it here at the North Carolina State Fair. Ooh, the Haunted. You can see that the Haunted brings in quite the crowd. Our chariot awaits. All right.
right, and once again we head into the haunted. Oh, it's actually kind of light in here. You can see the light peering through the ceiling. Kind of a unique view of the haunted. Oh, is someone gonna pop up? No. They withhold some scares sometimes to, to build anticipation. See a skeleton in there? Okay, maybe no scares today. Here, okay. hear a dog barking. All right. There's a big skull in there. Just chose not to light up. Big spider web. Oh, there we go. There was some, there was some light effects right at the end. All right, and that once again was the haunted. Now here is the dark ride we saw from the Skylift, the Asylum. This one, uh, I've not rode as many times as, uh, as the Haunted. Now what's interesting about the Asylum is you have some of the movie horror characters. You got Art the Clown up there. There's the twins from The Shining. But then down here, we also have some, uh, some real life, some real life monsters there. You got uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, John Wayne Gacy, Ted Bunny, Ted Bundy. There's uh, it has their names underneath. Dennis Rader there, also known as uh, BTK. There we got Ed Kemper, Eileen Warnos, Jack Kevorkian, and Captain Spaulding. Now Captain Spaulding is a fictional character mixed in with some of these uh, real life, uh, these real life uh, killers. All right, and our chariot awaits. All right, we're sitting here right between Ed Kemper and Charles Manson. Oh look, there's Henry Lee Lucas. Oh, Otis Tool's up there too. Oh, here next to uh, next to Ed Gein. There's the Exorcist face. here to the lady in the wheelchair. All right, so most of the props inside Asylum were working. So if you come to the North Carolina State Fair and you can only choose one dark ride between the Haunted and the Asylum, I'm sorry, gotta go with the Asylum. Over here we got a fun house. I have not seen uh, this particular fun house before. It's called Diesel Punk. It's gonna be like a steampunk themed fun house. You got like a steampunk cowboy up there. Oh, look at this. You have Abraham Lincoln in a giant mech suit there. Okay, that's that's pretty awesome. I think we're gonna have to take a take a tour through the uh, diesel punk fun house. All right, through these barrels here. The tricky, tricky stairs. Oh my goodness. All right. There's fun this way. This fun house contains some fun. And I'll tell you what, that is fun right there. A uh, chimp dressed like Abe Lincoln is definitely fun. All right, got some, lots of foot traps in these fun houses. Whoop, whoop. 
kind of like skiing, I guess. The skis move by themselves. All right, this, this isn't moving. Okay, look at that, a robot made out of uh, clamshells, goulash soup. We're going upstairs here. What sort of fun is up here? Oh yay, more foot traps. Oh, this one looks tricky. Whoa, whoa. We're right into the spinning wheel here. Look at this thing, that's not fun. That's not fun to be flung in the air like that on the end of a big long stick. That's not fun. Now, every time I go to a fair, I do like to, if possible, ride something I've never rode before. And I think uh, here at uh, the North Carolina State Fair, we're gonna hop aboard this. It's called the Down Draft. Let's see, uh, there are these long arms twirling in a circle. I don't like to ride too many twirling rides at once. So uh, I think we're gonna give this a whirl, if you will. So here it does its thing. It goes like in and out, and in and out. Uh, it's probably, probably gonna be nauseating. All right, let's see if we can find a uh, open compartment here. There we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh man, I should have should have taken my hat off. I really should have taken my hat off. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, Building up. Oh. Oh. You can feel the G forces destroying my body. <laughs> oh my god. What's that noise? There's a POV. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's getting faster. Okay. Is it slowing? Maybe it's slowing down a little bit. Oh my god. Oh, on your hats. There you go. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's slowly, slowly spiraling back down to earth. Oh, my mouth is dry. All the wind blowing in my mouth. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> oh goodness. Here at the Rockstar, they have quite a variety of different uh, rock musicians here on uh, on the mural. I think that's that Lemmy from Motorhead there. The Janis, whoop, Janis Joplin there, Jimi Hendrix. And uh, I don't know, who's this drummer here? If anyone recognizes anyone else, leave a comment in the comment section.
Got a giant inflatable chicken head over here. Over on this side, you have a 12 foot tall Home Depot skeleton enjoying some freshly brewed iced tea. Another fun house over here, the Hillbilly Village. You can see the Hillbilly imagery here on the side. What's that, what's that cat doing with all those fish? All right, head into the Hillbilly Village here. Oh, look at this guy. He's... Who's he? All the traditional foot traps, the skis, the rollers, the side to side, the spinning disc. Whoa! Find our way through the bungee cord jungle here. But the most important rule, no handstands in the barrel. No handstands, that would be incredibly dangerous to do in a barrel. What, what would you even be thinking? Crazy chopper over here. I've not seen this ride before. Everyone loaded into the into the helicopter there. Well, that's pretty cool. It's a unique uh, carnival ride. Here we have Melody Farms, an animatronic vegetable show. Oh, check this out. This is glorious. I think I feel another one. It's a chicken. I'm gonna try a chicken up there. Tough work, but somebody has to do it. Sounds like a wrapping, a wrapping broccoli over here. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo. This guy in the middle, is he like, is he the sun? Thank you, Lucy. And now let's see how many of you out there can help us sing this next song. See the tomatoes. Tomatoes digging there. Now that we all know the words, let's everybody sing. The itsy bitsy spider. Look at that. All the vegetables singing together in harmony. And watch the spider out. Forget Bingo was his name. Oh, B-I-N-G-O. 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 And Bingo was his name.
Oh, show's over. I think this building here has the uh, agricultural displays. There's always a highlight of the North Carolina Fair, the uh, largest pumpkins and watermelons. You see all the giant pumpkins here. And here is the largest pumpkin. This is a 2,124 pound pumpkin. That's a lot of pumpkin. So this is not just a state competition, this is an international competition for biggest watermelon. And this over here, this 308 pound watermelon, is the largest watermelon in, in the world this year. In 2023, this was the largest watermelon produced at 308 pounds. That is remarkable. We have to stay behind this fence, of course, to protect the watermelons and pumpkins. You know, some people like to put their hands on everything. You get a little perspective there, that's the 308 pound watermelon there. That's the 2,000, 2,124 pound pumpkin right there. Yikes. But this is the state competition here. The state champion for watermelons is 299 pounds right there. So not, not that much smaller than the largest uh, 2023 watermelon in the world. You see all these different uh, champion potatoes here. Here's the most unusual vegetable competition, the strangest shapes that are produced by vegetables. See that like zucchini has got a big twirl in it. That carrot is inordinately small. And this is the, this is the champion of the strangest vegetable competition here because this one grew, grew googly eyes. Now these pumpkins over here seem microscopic in compared to the big one over there. You got some uh, pecans or pecans, depending on where, uh, where you are from. Here is the honey section. Now they don't have a uh, butter cow or anything like that here at the North Carolina State Fair, but we do have beeswax sculptures, different things sculpted out of beeswax. And look at those french fries there, look just like a normal basket of french fries, but they're actually made out of beeswax. And there we have a Jesus made out of beeswax, or bejesus, if you will. All right, here we gotta find the queen. Find the, the queen bee there. Oh, there's a lot of bees. It's a lot. Which one of you bees is the queen? Go look for the one wearing the, uh, wearing the little crown. It's the milking section where you can pay five dollars to milk a cow. All these people lined up, excited, ready to milk a cow. It reminds me of that, uh, that Tom Tom Sawyer story where he convinces his friends that painting, whitewashing the fence, is super fun. I think these people have convinced <laughs> convinced everyone else to give them five dollars to milk their cows. That's a that's a good deal. You see this fiberglass cow here, but I know what you're wondering. What's inside of a cow? We can go around all the time and see what's outside of a cow, but what is inside of a cow? What lurks beneath the skin of a cow? And there we go. Oh, there's a button here where we can, we can put things in motion. Or, okay, I apologize. The, the cow button is not working at the moment. Some piglets over here. And we have some sheep. In the center there's peafowl. Different uh, birds are related to the peacock. See some white peacocks there. And there's an actual flesh and blood cow there. And here we have some newly hatched baby chicks. You can see all the little eggs there. Little cracks in them as the uh, baby chicks struggle to be born. That one's got a good crack in it. 
A little, oh, I can actually see a little bit of movement in there. Oh, you see it? It moved. Come on, little chick. Burst forth. Burst forth into this cold, cruel world of ours. This guy down here just, just learning how to walk. Oh, that guy. That guy's got it down pretty good. This whole walking thing ain't that hard. Oh. Oops. Over here we enter Germ City. Okay. And then you rub it in. You rub it in, that's your simulated germs. These are simulated germs, so we... So you go in here, there's a black light. Uh, the box with the black light here to your right. You stick your hand in there, you see where the uh, germs are, and then you go wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. And then you go on this other side to see how well you did. All right, so... He said they just, okay, so he just sprayed simulated germs on my hand. There you see the germs. So it's kind of a competition, I guess. You you see how well you can uh, you can wash your hand over here in uh, Germ City. My hand, gotta get, gotta get plenty of soap there. Wash these simulated germs off. Possibly some of the actual germs as well. Almost didn't notice this giant germ here sneaking up behind me. All right, now we see how well I've uh, washed my hand. Watch the simulated germs. Oh, okay. I think I got all those simulated germs off my hand. Oh, I missed a few. I missed a few. What can you do? This is the magic maze. It appears to be a Alice in Wonderland themed funhouse. It has uh, different Alice in Wonderland characters like the Queen of Hearts and uh, Salvador Dali. Alice there. And Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I have the flying bobs here. I love that giant Yeti there in the center. we can't forget about the hot tubs the uh, best place to buy a hot tub of course is the state fair uh, check out this robot over here oh watch out he's got a grabber there hopefully he doesn't try to he doesn't try to grab me oh my gosh who's uh who's controlling this robot here well it looks like he's under control of the United States Army here. Definitely don't want to mess with. <laughs> don't want to mess with a, a army robot. Oh man! What's he gonna? Oh no! Seems very serious. Okay, I don't know. Maybe he's doing a little bit of a little bit of dance there, but. Oh wow! He's looking to grab someone. Oh, he's gonna grab one of those children. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, 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 watch out. Back up. <laughs> the world's largest gummy here. See the giant gummy bear on top of the stand. It's like you can buy uh, buy food here, but it's all in gummy form. You get a gummy lobster or a gummy pickle. And if you're really hungry, you can get a gummy iguana. Right, here we have the state fair. Uh, photo op here. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Here's some championship crafts. It's a big crochet dragon right here. And I think that's Sir Walter Raleigh, who this very city is named after. Yeah, beeswax seems to be a popular medium to craft with here in uh, in North Carolina. Look at this uh, McDonald's meal right here. I don't know, is that Play-Doh? 
What's this? A whole new 4-H world. A NASA spaceship here. We can peek in there. Oh, black light display with the planets. The pie crust decorating contest. Here is uh, here is the winner, the first place. And it looks like it's covered in dry black beans. So that's interesting. The apple tree on that. This one looks like it has an octopus, octopus pie there. Okay, I don't think that it's actually a dried black bean pie. I think that just represents the filling for the artist to decorate over top of. Look at this spider pie. Out here we have the 4-H hay bale decorating contest. This bale of hay is decorated like a giant birthday cake. This bale of hay over here built like one of North Carolina's famous lighthouses. A movie themed bale of hay shaped like a big tub of popcorn. Look this hay bale here decorated like a big boiling pot of water. You see the flames down there, little bubbles coming out. So thank you for joining me here today at the North Carolina State Fair. Technically my home state fair. I have a residence here in North Carolina. So getting accustomed to the, the spirit of North Carolina, getting back in the groove, given that I'm in the process of moving back to the state of North Carolina. I never truly left. I was always a resident of North Carolina, but I've been on the road for two years and, it, and getting back into my house, it's really exciting. And uh, this was kind of, yeah, it's kind of a way of getting back into the spirit that is the state of North Carolina. So we've got, uh, Got some more. We got uh, we got more. So this is 21, or this this didn't add to our tally, but we have visited 21 state fairs. Hopefully, we're gonna get to some more sooner than later. Just stay tuned on this channel if you're interested in seeing me try to complete my goal of visiting all the state fairs. Uh, also, I travel around the country. I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun, random stuff. If you'd like to help contribute to the channel. Consider contributing to Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop and doing personalized messages on Cameo. If you're interested in receiving a personalized message from me, or want to send one to a friend or family member, all the information for that is in the description of this video. And all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.